Hello everybody, it's the Farmsim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We're back on the mod test map again, and today we're going to look at putting leveling and compacting into silage bunkers. So, we did our forage harvesting, auto drive and course play combo the other day. I'm going to do it again today, but with leveling and compacting in there and how we can get course play to auto level our bunkers so that actually you can run the whole thing automated if you want or you can set certain elements of it to run and you can choose which bits you do so i think the first thing we're going to do we're going to jump in and have a look at this bunker you'll see i've got two set up here and that's because there's two slightly different routes if you want to drive through and unload you can do that or with this one over here we're going to reverse the trailer in so it's you potentially could be using a u-shaped bunker there we've done a drive through but you could be using a u-shaped bunker there uh, so we'll show you what happens with that. I've got a roller on this one, and I have got a leveler on that one. So um, we'll show you a few different ways of doing things. So first things first, let's jump in this rather nice case, and let's set up this course, and I'll show you what's what. So um, we have got a couple of tractors over there filled with chaff in the trailers, which we will set up small auto drive courses for in just a little minute. But for starters, we are just going to roll this into the bunker, get the roller unfolded. We've used relatively small bunkers as well, purely because uh, we'd be here all night if we did anything else. Uh, so what you want to do, you want to start by rolling your tractor maybe about a quarter of the way into your bunker, something like that. Now what you want to do here is open up your course play controls and in the bottom right hand corner here you've got a course called leveling and compacting. So you want to hit that um, and what we're going to do here, we're going to just straight away, let's reverse a little bit more, uh, straight away hit start course recording. Now the first thing you're going to do here is drive straight out of the bunker. And you want to drive just to one side, say somewhere like that. So what you're doing here is you're going to put a weight point in. Now the reason for this is when you want your tractor to arrive to unload with a trailer full of chaff, you want to move this guy out of the way so he's not going to interfere with that trailer coming and uh, unloading. So we've put our park uh, weight point in there, then we're going to put the tractor in reverse. Now this is the important bit. You do not need to reverse this back into the bunker. All you need to do, reverse it back slightly and stop it before the entrance to the bunker. So we will then hit stop and there you go. It's as simple as that. That is your course set up. Uh, now there's a couple of options here that you might want to consider setting as well. So if we go into here, you'll see the mode we've got here is compacting. Um, so we're going to be flattening all this down. Uh, the other option you've got available to you, well, actually there are other options, but you don't have them because we've just got a roller on the back here. We don't have anything that can uh, level it. So we'll see in a minute why that's going to be beneficial for this one. The option here, automatically stop for course play or auto drive or all player controlled unloaders. So if you're driving your own trucks, you can set this to uh, stop or move out of the way when uh, you drive your tractors in manually. We'll leave it on uh, course play and auto drive today. Uh, silo is being filled by reverse unloading. We're not going to do that. We're going to do driving through here. Um, detect unloaders in range of 50 meters. So basically what that one is, is how close are the trailers before this decides to pull out of the bunker. For me, 50 meters is too much. I usually run it about 25, uh, but you can do whatever you like with that. Blade width is 3 meters. Um, ours is actually, I think, 4.8. So let's bump that up. So there you go. You can see the little adjustment there. Um, I'll move that out of the way and do it again. Just using the mouse button there um, to uh, roll between the sizes. So 4.8 uh, is the width. Max speed while pushing, 6 miles an hour. You can reduce that. Um, it's entirely up to you. But that, I think, is us done. Now, Let's just switch to first waypoint. I'm just going to hit drive course now. And you'll see, even though there is no silage in there yet, he will move to his uh, waypoint. Now what he's going to do is reverse back and start levelling in here. So he's lowered it down there. So he rolls right to the edge of there. See that? So he's gone off centre and he's going to roll that side. And then he's going to roll the other side. So we'll work out the depth of the bunker here. There he goes. I'm going to roll forward again. 
he will move now. And move over to the other side. So he's compacting both sides, filling the whole bunker. Now it's worked out the depth of that bunker on his own. And he's worked out uh, how wide it is as well. So uh, he will just continue to run that now. Even though there's no uh, chaff in there at the moment, he'll continue to run that now. Uh, until such point that we have a trailer coming to get him now. I need to move him out of the way. So what we'll do, we'll stop him. We know that works now. We've tested it. We'll move him to his weight point just here. We'll just leave him there for now while we set up our auto drive course. So let's go and jump in the John Deere here. Okay, we're in the John Deere here. We are going to quickly record a very simple course. There we go, straight away. Let's call this start. And we're going to run him around a little bit of a loop here. And as we did the other day, this is a straight through tip course. So he can run right through the middle here. Let's call this, there's a good one to uh, mark him at. Um, bunker 1 unload create that and we are literally going to loop him out of here back to his start point now we're going to uh, simulate this tractor being filled every time so every time it arrives back at the start point we're going to manually fill the trailer back up just for speed for this demo but uh, there we go, click there, click there, set up. Okay, that is done. So we start at start and we finish at bunker one unload. Oh, bunker one unload. There we go. So we now know that is working. I haven't turned it on yet, but what we'll do is we'll go and turn our leveler back on now. And we will give it a whirl and see what happens. So let's jump straight in here. Start course at first waypoint, drive the course. Off he goes. He'll get himself into position. I'll close this here. Stop at his waypoint there. And I'll start reversing in. So he's basically working his course now. So while he's doing that, we will go and switch on the John Deere and we'll let him run round into position. So the John Deere here, now power him up. There he goes. He starts to loop round. I'm going to leave all the settings up at the moment. Thank you, Fiona. Let's leave the edit course up for now just so you can see it in action. He'll run to the bunker. And he's going to get to a point here where he will stop. Now he's going to wait. Slightly worried there, he wasn't going to stop, so I'm glad he did. <laughs> he's going to wait. The case is obviously in the middle of a, uh, a job there. But the case will now notice that there is a tractor waiting. He will get out of the way. Now what I've done there... That will be a good one to go and uh, adjust, is maybe move that to a detection of 30 metres. But, there was enough space for him to get out of the way there. And again, this is always fine tuned, always a bit of fine tuning with us. But, um, like I did the other day, he is seeing where the bunker unload point is. He's unloading before that, so he's putting a nice load of chaff into the middle of the bunker. Unloading, just like so. And you can see the case in the background has already realised that there's enough space. So he's going to let him crack on with it. He's finished. He will wait while the trailer drops down. And the case has already started levelling. But there we go. And the John Deere disappears off back to his start point. So he'll disappear off, we'll just jump out now, as he heads past there, and as you can see, 
leveling nicely. Let's just open up the menu here. Already 22%, 24%. So we left on the way out. And I'll move over to the other side now. I'll just wait and let you see it. Now well, what I will say, just while we're watching him do this, you can see how close he gets to the bunker edges. And there's a reason why I put the lizard base game ones in here. Um, I tried them the other day with these bunkers on the mod test map and I found that it was always, hit, always hitting the walls and the reason for that is that the bunkers go into the walls, the walls encroach on the bunker edges rather than the bunker finishing at this line here. The bunker finishes in here somewhere and the wall sits inward of the bunker so it was calculating the edge of the bunker as being inside the wall so the, the tract was crashing into the wall so you might need to do a little bit of trial and error with your bunkers, whichever ones you want to choose, um, just to make sure that you find one that works. But I found these ones work really, really well. Um, so uh, if you want to give these a bash, by all means, give these a bash. Right, uh, I'm going to put another load into this trailer here using Easy Dev just for ease, and then we'll uh, we'll let this run for a little bit, and you can see how it uh, steadily fills up. Now you see there, he came out of the bunker very fast and the puma said he was in traffic. So what I'm going to do here, is I'm just going to jump in here and what I'm going to do, as he goes into unload now, I'm just going to pull up course play here. I'm going to move our detection out. Um, detect unloaders in 35 metres. Let's add another 10 metres on see if that fixes things. As you can see, second trailer worth of... Uh, chaff going in there as it gets to about two-thirds of the way through there the case kicks back in and starts rolling backwards so he'll start doing his thing John Deere will head back to its start point we'll go and simulate another load being filled up he's dropped it down now he's starting to level nicely so again you can think about how you do this I didn't put any weights on the wheels and things like that you could add obviously more weight to this, put a front roller on it as well if you wanted. But you notice that I've set it to reverse in. For me that seems to be the way that works best. I tried a few different options, driving in first and things like that. But uh, now you see he's waiting for an unloader because he's detecting the tractor on the way back there. So that could be too far away already. Uh, that's okay though far enough away now so see you see what happens there so sometimes you want to consider your your route and maybe not drive too close to the bunker after you've unloaded now we could drop that down to 30 meters maybe I don't know um, we'll do a bit of trial and error on this one as we do it but um, it may be that it's okay but he's starting to level now and again let's just jump out let's pull this up look it's 68% compacted already and that was just a fresh trailer in so it's not taking long at all so we'll run that for a little while, we'll get a few more loads in. What we'll do is we'll do another test now we've upped that uh, distance and uh, we'll see what happens when he arrives again at the uh, bunker. So here he comes with another load of chaff. Um, like I said, we put that uh, case up to 35 metres rather than 25. So he's stopped a little bit. See how far? He's stopped further back now. So what we won't have is that issue with the case and the John Deere clashing and again that's a bit of trial and error you've just got to play around with that and make sure uh, you get it right for whatever you're doing but there he is he is uh, waiting for the unloaders there got a bit close again I don't know what happened that time but uh, he's happily running in he'll do his bit to uh, compact as well with his trailer full as you can see it's in the middle here um, and it's something we'll cover off in the next one. But there he goes. There's his load dumped. And he will head off again. And as you can see the case kicking in in the background. Now that is just compacting. Okay. But the next one we're going to do 
is going to move it into position as well and probably the better of the two options because as you see there we're getting quite a mound in the middle that isn't quite uh, working now one of the things i would suggest um, if you're going to do it this way is if you're driving manually and you can choose to dump on either side of the silo rather than straight down the middle every time um, or the other option is you use uh, a leveler rather than a roller so um, while they're doing their thing over there what we'll do we're going to head over to this bunker and we're going to set up the same leveling course as we've just done over there so exactly the same principles let's unfold this this is a five meter blade on this so we'll reverse this rather nice new holland in here it's got weights on the wheels as well so we should compact rather quickly about a quarter of the way in again what we'll do we'll open up course plate we will bunker leveling course there start course recording as before straight out now what we're going to do i'm going to move this one a little bit further away to avoid the, the problems we've just had with the other mode we'll spin around here we'll pop him into reverse and we'll reverse him back but not into the bunker like so and stop and there's our second course set up Give it a name, Leveling Bunker 2. And he is done. And what I'm going to do, I'll quickly move him out of the way. I'm not going to do anything with him just yet. Because we'll go over and we'll get our tractor over there and set up a little auto drive course with him as well. Okay, we're on our little fent now. I say a little, it's a 900, it's big enough. Uh, let's open up auto drive and we are going to do a course edit here. Now, this is going to be on a different course to that one over there. Um, so what we'll do, we'll roll forward one. So record button hit. Let's just do a, a start point here. Course to start. Obviously on your game, I wouldn't expect you to have two identical bunkers running at the same time. We're obviously doing this for the benefit of the tutorial. So what I'm gonna do here, if he's moved out of the way enough, I want to be able to run my tractor around here like so and this is us doing something different with this course rather than the other one we're going to do a reverse course so we'll get them straight there we're going to reverse in and use all our brilliant reversing skills to get this into place without uh, making too much of a hash of it again about a quarter of the way in maybe a little bit further halfway in and do our second point in here. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit further in so it can detect. There we go. And we will call this bunker to unload. Create that. We are good. We're going to drive straight out of here, trying to avoid getting too close to the John Deere where we can. and we will link ourselves back up to the start of the course. Click on there, click on there, course complete. So we don't need to do anything else there. Okay, so let's have a look at the difference between this one and the one we've got over there. As you can see, the case is still running nicely, minding his own business. We'll come back and check him in a little while. But let's jump into our new Holland. Again, a couple of settings we just want to check here with this. Let's pull up course play again. So direct unload in range of 25 meters. Let's bump that up to 30 just to be safe. Silo is being filled by reverse unloading. So you see what we've done here? We have reverse unloaded in here rather than driving through. Um, and we're going to change this to filling up because we want to push all of this to the back of the silo every time we do it. Now, later on, you can then switch this. You can stop the course, switch it to leveling if you want. But we're going to leave it on filling up for now. Our blade width is five meters, I think. 
So we will just check that and bump it up. Oh, actually, I think it is four. It is four metres, so we'll leave it at four metres. Uh, but all is looking good there, so we'll go back to here. And we will hit drive course. He'll go to his park point. Let's close that. We'll hit it, and then he will reverse into, into his position. And again, we'll watch it run once, just to prove that we've set it up right. There we go, the blade goes down. He heads in. You can see the auto drive course and the course play course working together there. He pushes to the back of the bunker and rolls out of the way. So that's him running nicely there as well. And tagging the auto drive course on the way past. So he's just going to keep running like that. So while he does that, we will jump back into the fence, fire that up, and send him on down. So we're in the fence. Just select course to start and bunker to unload, which are the two ones we've set up on this side. And we're going to hit go. There you go. Fent head straight away. Round on the grass now. This is going to be interesting. Because we're at 25 metres here, but he's coming in at an angle, so this shouldn't be the issue that we had last time with them clashing, where they were coming in head on. So he's stopping nicely there. As the uh, New Holland reverses up, he's in the middle of a path, so he'll finish the path he's on. So he'll now know that the Fent is waiting. And he will now get out of the way. I say hopefully. But yes, there he goes. And it's waiting for unloaders. You'll see it there in the course play uh, sign in the bottom left corner. So this will now spin round. I think I've left enough of a gap between the back of the uh, tractors for them to just... It's close. Again, in hindsight, I maybe would have moved him further out of the way. But the fence should now reverse into the silo with no no hassles. Following my slightly wobbly course. He'll reverse in here. Now, one of the problems I'll show you... may We may have solved it. There's a slight issue... And again, I would maybe recommend reversing further into the bunker than uh, you would expect. So here, what will happen is, you will unload until the point at which the trailer can't empty any more out of the trailer. See that? And now what he'll do is he'll edge forward. Wait for it to fill, and then he'll edge forward, and he'll keep edging forward until it's completely empty. But the problem with that is... If you haven't got a powerful enough tractor, he may get stuck. Um, now, if I was further back, he may have unloaded a little bit further in and pulled forward a little bit more. So, we'll just see what happens here. Certainly when I've done this before, it can get stuck on the first load, but also, you can resolve that by having a more powerful tractor. Or a narrower blade. So you're not pushing as much of the uh, chaff in. So we'll, we'll, in a health and safety nightmare, just stand down here. And watch him see if he gets stuck. The blade's going down. And he's not. He's worked well there. So he'll push that to the back of the silo. There we go. And we'll just keep an eye on this for a bit. And I might just jump up into the air and watch this in uh, a time lapse. Because he'll keep going on that until it's all pushed to the back of the bunker. So there you go. We've got a little bit up the sides here, but I think we'll sort that later on. But as you can see, we've got a lovely pile of grass at the back here. So what we'll do, we'll go and get a few more loads and we'll load it up. Now I would edit some of this, but I think it's nice to see it at least a couple of times. We'll cut some of the other elements out as we start to fill up a little bit more. But for now, I think it's good for you to see the stages of it. Like I said, you know, there's my unload point. I should have reversed a little bit further in, in hindsight. Although this isn't bad, because uh, later on, obviously, as the bunker gets full, you don't want to be too far back. Um, the other option here is here, you could put a couple of different unload points in. 
different unload markers uh, and as you get towards the front of it you can just switch your course um, to front, middle or back um, that's another way of doing it as well uh, but as, as with all of my tutorials I think the best thing to do is get the basics down, understand what I'm doing here and then play with it, trial and error learn for yourself the best thing to learn these the best way to learn these is to just give it a go uh, and start messing with some of the settings and things like that but there he goes he is done he will disappear back to his start point i'm going to jump out here because i want to see what happens with our uh, with our leveler again he gets himself into position and he will start piling up now obviously we're just parking them over there and refilling them by hand. If they were in a field they're going to be away for a little bit longer uh, so the likelihood is that all of this will be levelled and back into the back of the bunker by the time uh, you come back with your trailer. So again I'll let him run for a bit, do his thing, we'll watch it in time lapse and then we'll, uh, we'll send another truck down. So there we go, as you can see, almost another full load tucked into the back of the silo here. So what we're going to do, I am going to run just trailers and let this run its course for a little while. And uh, we'll come back when this is almost full and see what we've got. Okay, so we've just dropped back. Uh, we have put a few more loads in here and as you can see, it's really starting to come together. If I run up here, it's still pushing it back, but look, we're starting to hit the max height of the bunker here. We've got a nice slope going down the other side. We're well within the bunker, so when we cover it, we're not going to have any spillage on the outside. It's doing a fantastic job. Still heaping it up. Um, we have put, there we go, close to 400,000 litres in. Now, you'll see it's only 33% compacted, because actually we are on a push... Uh, mode at the moment to push the uh, silage into the bunker and load it up so we could at the end of this switch the mode or even bring the second tractor over from over there on a compacting uh, mode and uh, start to flatten this down some more but obviously ultimately this will he'll continue to run on this and once everything's leveled um, he will continue to compact but again, you can see it's going up a percent each time. He's almost finished. I don't think he needs any more uh, compacting here, but it'll just keep running. Um, but it's pretty looking pretty neat. Uh, but it'll continue to go until everything's as neat as it can be. As you can see, there we go. We'll just keep going. So, we'll come back in a little while again. So here we go. We're back in the fence. We are just watching as he is continuing to load up there. And as you'll see, we've kind of packed that up almost as much as we can. So he's going to move out of the way. He'll dump this one last load in. We're nearly on about 500,000 litres in there. I would say probably half bunker full. So that'll be enough for this demo. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like with that much uh, chaff in and how well, actually... The new Holland has uh, compacted that down. So while he's doing his reverse in here, we'll actually run in and have a look at this. So look at that lovely, neat little bit of a lump on top that he, over time, that would have been filled in if we just let him run, as you can see here, lovely and smooth here. And that bank that we talked about before, looking really good. So this, for me, is uh, if you're filling up a bunker with lots and lots of chaff, this is the way to do it. Um, definitely more so than the drive-through option there which as you saw before leaves a little bit of a lump in the way but we'll see him just unload this here we'll roll forward again in a minute as he would have done before but as you see where we are in the bunker now while he's pushing it a long way back to start with as you start to fill the bunker up it makes more sense to have uh, the unload at the front so again like I said before you could have a point here for start middle 
and front of the bunker. Uh, and you could move, you could shift your auto drive course as things get filled up if you if you were that way inclined. But there we go, there's the Fent. All loaded, all unloaded, should I say. He'll get out of the way. And the New Holland will kick back in to uh, levelling this stuff. Till it's all ready. Now, what I might do, uh, and I'll be intrigued to see how it will work actually, it's something I've not done, so I'm trying this as part of a tutorial, which is never a good idea. I may go and get the case from over there with the rollers on and see what he'll do to compact this, because if I look at this now, we're only 32% compacted, even though we've, we've backed everything up, and we've got a brilliant load of stuff in here, it isn't heavily compacted yet. So um, I would like to see what we'll do with a compactor on it rather than the course we're on at the moment. So we'll just watch him load this newly delivered trailer full of grass. And as you can see, it's start to fill in that there. There we go. He's done a great refill there. He's gone right to the back of the bunker again. So that's nice to see. It's still levelling that off so well. So we'll watch him a few more times. 34% compacted. We're over 500,000 litres in here now. So we've kidnapped the case from the other silo. I'll just nip over and I'll show you. That was 100% compacted, so he didn't need to be in there anymore. But you will see, this is the issue with the run, with the driving through. Nicely compacted here, well spread out. But here where it's been dumping in the trailer, you can see we've got quite a steep mound here. Now that's going to cause problems potentially when you're unloading, with the axles getting stuck on that mound. So um, one to consider, like I said, my preference is for this other one over here. But what we're going to do, we've had the leveler on for now. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and compact this with the roller. We know this is on around about 30 something, 36%. So I'd like to see if this will do a job now to get this leveled. So I will get him into position here. We'll fire up course plate. And we will load up the course. Bunk 2 levelling. So I need to get rid of the course I'm in. There we go. And we'll need to change some of the settings here. We are compacting because we've only got the roll. It's the only thing we need. Everything else as we are. Uh, let's see what happens here. I do not know what's going to happen with this. So we shall wait and see. Never done this before. Used one and then the other. So hopefully... I'm not going to eat my words here. And there's enough power in this to start levelling this out and compacting it nicely. It should work. There's no reason why it shouldn't. But, you know, farm sim, right? But that is looking pretty good. The only question is, will he, will he be able to come back? Has he got enough power to come back? And yes, he does. Lifted his roller up. Yeah, he threw himself off the edge there. So it is quite steep. But that is looking good. And already, we've increased ourselves by a percent. He goes again. So switching between the two may be the way you want to do it. The other option is you get a really, really chunky tractor, or a tracked tractor, or a low loader, or a wheel loader, or whatever you want. You could make this work, but there you go, 39% already. It's not going to take him too long to do this, so again, either switching implements or having two tractors on standby could be the way to go as well. Um, but looking good here, definitely compacting it, it's going to look super smooth when it's done. So, there you go. Well, I'm not sure if there's anything else I need to show you in this tutorial. Like I said, um, trial and error is your best way to do this. Have a play with it. Fiddle around with the settings. If it breaks, try again. Um, but find yourself a little bit of a groove. Ultimately, though, if you put in the basic settings, you will get a good result. Uh, but, I mean, the course by course is super, super simple. Um, 
if it doesn't work the likelihood is you might have a tractor that uh, doesn't work you've not set up your implement width right or you've got a bunker where the footprint of the bunker uh, can't be calculated by course plane in those cases it might be you just need to try a different bunker but like i said here you can see this you can see how well this is all been compacted i haven't done this by hand this has all been done by course play which is really impressive so um on that note i'm gonna leave you and wish you luck but if this is the final part of the jigsaw that makes you do a fully automated silage harvest um i'm glad i could help i for one i think may do a, a live stream or some sort of video in the next few weeks linking all of these little bits together and seeing if we can get a fully automated silage harvest uh, running um, with no or very little input from me so for now from me the farm sim guy i hope this has been useful thank you very very much for watching and i will see you all again very soon bye for now <laughs>